All right. So we built, we put a link here that sends a parameter that that would send us to a post page, right? So we were able to do that. Great. On this lecture here, I want to take care of the categories, and it's going to be very similar to what we did with this. And also, I want to fix this. Let's go ahead and fix that. What I mean with fixing is that we need to have this link direct us to the home page. So let's go ahead and do that right now. It's kind of bothering me there a little bit. So navigation, and let's just make sure that it goes to end it right here. Right, and it's that PHP, and we are already in. Just double checking the links right here. Admin, this would take me to the end. It's all right, let's double check on that. Oops, we need actually this. Is, I'm sorry, I'm putting this in a class. It's like I do things sometimes and I don't even see it. I just see it in my mind. I don't know if it ever happened to you. If you click on it, it's going to take us to to the index. All right? Perfect. And that's over here in the navigation inside includes. So that would take us to index. Perfect. All right. So the next step is let's go to the sidebar. And here we need to put a link under, as you, as you see here, this is the search. And this is the blog categories diff and here on the link that we got to produce this categories in the right side in the sidebar we need to put a, a link right here to send to a new page that we will be building we don't have it yet but it's going to be called category.php and we are going to be sending something here and that something's going to be a parameter called category equals something and this something will be the ID we're going to take out from the table right now the, from the column ID, cat ID, we're going to take out the value, cat ID, for the value of the category ID. So here we're going to put in that, that variable right here. So we're going to send this parameter here, category equals whatever category ID that is. All right? And then we need that page to catch it. So let's go ahead and make that page right now. Let's um, make it on the same place as index actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a save as out of index right here. I'm going to go and do save as and I'm going to call this category because it's almost the same thing dot PHP. All right, perfect. So here what I want to do is I want to catch that value that we are sending in that sidebar with an if statement and this if statement it's going to have the function if set like we always use it with a get super global and we're going to be catching that category key for the array when we catch that then we need to convert it so that we can check against that right so let's convert that category key right here into a post as my if you want to pause the video and you think you know this is very similar to the post.php, all right? So if you think you can do it, go ahead and do it and try it right now. Pause the video and try it. It will help you, all right? And then if you can't, just then unpause the video and I'll, I'll finish it, all right? So hopefully you were able to do this and um, you were successful. If not, don't worry. I got your back right now. So post category ID and um, that's it. And then here we select everything from post where you remember where what post remember this column right here post category ID that's what it is for right post category ID this is the column in the table equals what this ID that we're bringing in from the URL all right that's the category right there and let's check that. Let's see if it works. Let's see if we don't have any mistakes here. All right. Let's check it out. Let's go to the front page. Let's click on Java. And we got three poses on Java. Nice, right? Let's PHP has no posts. 
All right, and we could make a page here just to let the user know that there is nothing there or redirect them somewhere else. That would be probably in the extra features. But right now, we're not concerned with that. Procedure of PHP, we have one post. Example category, we don't have any posts there. So on Java, we have three. Perfect. So anyway, hopefully you were able to learn something really valuable. I think you have. So this is good information for you. Take care and let's go ahead and do the next lecture.